Hello and welcome back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are going to take a look at the star marked SOC 143, password stealer detected, event ID 90, the event that took place April 26, 2020, 11.03 p.m. So it looks like star denotes the attachment was used in a real cyber attack. This just gets better and better. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at what we have. We have supposedly a Microsoft address, and I'm fairly certain Microsoft is not using Baidu servers and IP space to send their stuff out, so that looks spoofed. No content, just an attachment. An attachment is... an HTML file once it's unzipped. Virus total does not pick up much of anything there. Pretty much everything is sparse. It's not until you go through and take a look at it in sandboxes that you observe that it is a rather crappy credential stealer. I did run it through any dot run, yeah. And it looks like it tries to send the stuff off to techyardit.com slash WP content slash card two or card slash two slash post dot PHP. That now But almost dang near 20 plus days afterwards is now a 404. But that gives us the tech yard it. Uh, URL scan went back seven days at the time of recording. Google safe browsing has it marked malicious, but it is 404. So we're catching it after the fact. Virus total. Uh, the domain itself. Looks like it's using its own mail server. Redacted for privacy, so on and so forth. Oh, it's registered late 2020. Well, I could have played a long game with it, maybe. Uh, running the URL through Virus Total gives us what is this? Five hits for phishing and three for malicious. So after it collected your stuff, it tried to dump you off to Microsoft Online. And I'm assuming that is illegitimate. Oh, it even gives you a, uh, a notice. Oh, I guess I could understand as to why somebody would, might fall for that. Well, but basically we're running off of several days old worth of intel. But that is fine. I know it's not asking that, it's just going to be sent it around, but I want to find Ellie. Huh, nothing. 
Well, isn't that just peachy key? E L L I E. Pretty sure that's what I searched for. E L I E. Nada. Okay. Nuts to that. Let's see about trying to do a deep dive, but okay. And this was allowed, so but we know that this definitely looks like it would have been ah uh, log management. And I guess let's do this endpoint something to denote Ellie. Maybe. Nothing that stands out that you would think would be, hey, this is Ellie's device. Um, okay, for everything that we ran through, what was the IP address? 135.18.1.1. Roughly 73, yes, okay. So let's look at logs, and let's look at destination. We got nothing. How about source? No. Well. Server dot server want. <laughs> but from everything we sandboxed, what about uh, It's interesting that this one tried to pull up something over to Dropbox. Did we see that even at all? Oh yeah, we did. And here's something. What about the first stage? So with no idea what Ellie might potentially use. We're just kind of left a little scraping around in the dark. All right, let's go ahead and take ownership. We're quick doing just about as much analysis as we can currently. Let's go through the playbook. Phishing. Was there attachment? Yes. Was the attachment malicious? Well, considering the fact it facilitated credential phishing, yes, I would say it would mark itself as malicious. Oh, goody. All right, so we're going to grab the MD5 of the... So this is the HTML attachment. I grab an IP address of the sender. SNTP ID. Grab another one, email sender, make sure to include that it is spoofed, it is not really bill at microsoft.com, actually make sure Microsoft's not misspelled. All 
Spell sending address. Okay. Um, I'm just going to grab this as the endpoint, is what we observed. So it's going to be IP and then URL. Fish IP address uh, go back here. Copy that. Okay. Next. Was it delivered? Uh, per the notes, device action was allowed, so delivered. Oh, goody, we can delete it. Did someone actually open it? Well, let's see, we've looked for... Dropbox address that was given, um, the address for TechYardit. So how about this encrypted dash tbn zero dot g static? Let's just cover the bases. Bingo, nothing. So. Oh boy, that's fun. Terminated the recording midway through. Ah, crap. Now, let's see about trying to remember how to stitch one video file to the other. Okay, so where did I leave off on this? Um, yes, we could find no indication that anyone tried to open the thing. So, we're going to say no. And that's going to finish the play. Wow, this is just going to be a short video section then. Here's all of our info. And submit. Uh, this is indeed a true positive. Confirmed. Cred. Phishing. From an spoofed email address. True. Yay! Access to the malicious address. <clears throat> How? What? Where? Oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> Not that that person do I like having any of this stuff just make it by. So, where? Where is there any sort of denotion that... the stuff was gone at all? I mean... Nothing. And we don't even have a source IP, so... And this was just uh, an email alert, right? Yeah, so it's not a proxy. Oh, okay, so they've added something new for me. Oh, regardless, that doesn't help in regards to this. Is there access to malicious address? Well, I would love to understand how. Oh, I'll just make note of it. 
rather than sit there and get worked up over it because it's just not worth it. I, mean, I don't put it past me that I could have very well missed some aspect of this. I am, at the end of the day, just as human as everyone else. Yep, I don't see anything. <laughs> okay, well, rather than sit there and compose a uh, message to Let's Defend and add that to the recording and just pad the runtime. I don't think I really need to pad the runtime. I think between the last one and then the second quote unquote half, which is probably more like a quarter more than over that 10 minute mark but so irregardless that completes SOC 143 password stealer detected for April 26 2021 11.03 p.m. with an event ID of 90 and I will see everyone in the next video once I actually spend the time to get these two portions merged together Fuck.